Today we're going to talk about heparin versus warfarin. It's important to recognize and know the difference between similar medications like these. The generic name for warfarin, of course, is warfarin. And the trade name, or also called brand name, is cumin. And generic name for heparin is heparin. And there is no brand name for heparin. But there is a suffix, heparin. Let's talk about the antidotes of these two medications. The antidote for warfarin is vitamin K. And the antidote for heparin is protein sulfate. A memory trick to remember this is that during war, vitamin K kills warfarin. And for heparin, you will need help from a pro to stop bleeding out. Heparin, protein sulfate. Now for the mechanism of action. Warfarin inhibits the production of vitamin K. Heparin inhibits formation of five ring clots. Warfarin is most commonly given orally. And heparin can be given IV or sub Q. Heparin cannot be given orally because it is inhibited by the GI tract. The major side effect for both of them is risk for bleeding. For therapeutic uses, warfarin is typically a long-term therapy. And heparin is the opposite. It's normally used for a short-term therapy. You can remember this by thinking warfarin, you have to wait. Warfarin takes a long time to kick in. As for heparin, heparin happens fast. You need to educate your patient on vitamin K intake. You want them to be consistent with their vitamin K intake. Think about it. If they increase their vitamin K intake, it's going to inhibit warfarin because vitamin K is the antidote for warfarin. So patient education for heparin is that after administration, pain, irritation, and bruising is common. Some nursing considerations, it's really important to remember that warfarin is measured in I and R and heparin is measured with A, P, T, T. 